Hi Taurus, welcome to your August no contact love tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Taurus, we're going to take a look at whoever you're thinking of, whoever's on your mind at this time of this reading. We're going to look at their energy, what's going on for them, what's their situation, why there may be either no or very, very limited contact or communication and see what's going on. So welcome in, welcome in. Hope everyone's doing safe, doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So just a little um, disclaimer first, Taurus, if this is someone you have no interest in, you, you don't want to get back with them, blah, blah, blah. It's probably not your reading. These readings are for someone who kind of has the hopes of maybe getting back together with someone or they generally want to know or concern what's going on with the other person. So I just have to put that out there. It's not about any kind of, I would never condone getting back with a narcissist or anything like that. So if you come in here with that intention, with this reading, that's not what this reading is about. I just really, really have to um, state that here. All right, so let's get back to your reading, Taurus. Okay, so this is whoop, for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective reading. So please only take it how it resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can switch, flip, reverse energies around uh, if you feel the need to. Taurus. And if this does resonate for you, Taurus, there will be an extended reading. And if you are interested in the extended reading, the links are below. Lots of stuff down there. Description box, pin top comment about me in this channel if you'd like to check that out. If you'd like a personal reading, lots of stuff down there. And I'll show you those cards just a little bit later and tell you more about the extended later, but the info is also down below. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female general collective reading let us see what is going on with your person of interest so let us see here we have 50 which is five which fives are about challenges and changes we have consider your foundation you are being asked to look at how committed you are to love okay and we have choose love <laughs> Wow, and we have 21, which is three. Three to me is about putting in the work, teamwork, collaboration, you know, coming together, people coming together, building together, learning together, you know, um, reuniting together in some way. But it says here, choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. So I, I don't know, I kind of think this person is trying to figure out what they want for their life, for their foundation. Do they want to be single? Do they want to be married in a committed relationship? Do they want to choose this love? Hmm. We'll see what's going on here. And we have a time to give rather than take. And we have new moon in Virgo. So if they've been taking from you all your affection, your love, you know, they know it's their turn now to give back. So someone could have Virgo in their chart. I also say, uh, or there could be a Virgo, I also say also it could be a time frame of any of the signs that I mentioned also. So, you know, it could be the Virgo time frame, which would be the end of August into September. And we have don't let your past hold you back, South Node. So it could be something about their past, you know, if they had a bad marriage before uh, or something like that, they probably, you know, are really thinking, you know, do I really want to go down that path again? But you know, the past is the past. It's time to leave it in the past. Especially if there's a lot of love between the two of you. It's time to look upward to the North Node and not the South Node. The South Node is what keeps you stuck. And the North Node is what you should be following to propel you forward. All right. Let us see what's going on with your person. This is for Taurus. What is going on? Oh my God, okay, we'll take those, but this is like half the deck here. Okay, we got three. Ten of swords, yeah, there's that painful ending that they did see coming. So they could have went through a really bad, bad uh, breakup, re um, divorce, relationship in the past. Three of pentacles. So they may have, you know, felt like this past relationship you know, really put in a lot of hard work. They laid the foundation with their person. They thought it was going to go long term. They were really building, building up that foundation in the past with that person. And I feel like it all came crumbling down. 
it's almost like I see them building this future with this person, but yet at the same time seeing and knowing, like, I just don't think this is going to last. Kind of knowing that it may not last or it's probably going to come to an end or there's something about it. Because he's got the Ten of Swords in him, but he's face up. So he saw them coming down. He saw them coming down. So he knew, he or she knew something was coming to an end. Even though they kept on building and building and building and building, deep down they knew it wasn't going to last. Nine of Cups. So they did end up uh, single here. And, you know, could have led to some maybe, you know, little bit of drinking or addiction problems or overindulgence, maybe overeating, things of that nature. Doesn't have to be. You know, and that's usually Nine of Cups energy is usually feeling kind of content and happy on your own. Not that maybe they're not happy and content, but they could be overindulging on their own. All right, what else here for Taurus' this person? Versus person fake destiny divine timing so however that ended for them this could have been a big wake-up call for them to make them realize you know why did I keep putting energy into something that I know I knew deep down wasn't gonna last but yet I kept building and building and putting the work in and I ended up single anyway but whatever this is, it could have been a big karmic lesson for them because this is the Wheel of Fortune. It's fate, it's destiny, divine timing, something meant to be, getting better, going in the right direction. It could be that, that's like, that's the propeller that moved them forward. And moving them forward, um, you know, probably to meet you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my God. Well, we have the Eight of Pentacles here. So this is a lot of hard work here, putting in the dedicated effort on something here with that three of pentacles right above it. So I feel like they really, they really, really tried in their past to make it work. But look at this. We do have the king and queen of cups here. This is a matching couple. We have Pisces and we have uh, Cancer. Or another water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. A matching divine couple here. But we have the Seven of Wands, so this is the energy of pushing it away. Because you see, having that wall up, that barrier, could be they worked really hard to kind of rebuild their life also after an ending. And now, you know, Queen, King, Queen of Cups, meeting someone, kind of feeling those feelings again, but yet pushing it away defense mechanism all right let's get another one here for you Taurus or Taurus's person I feel like what whoever this past person was for them was kind of like a catalyst for them to push them forward maybe to give them sort of like a wake up wake up call to realize why did I keep putting effort into something I knew deep down wasn't going to last or wasn't right or it wasn't really a right fit? Yet I kept putting in that work anyway. So now I feel like they're working on themselves and they're moving forward. And now the universe brings them a soulmate, which is probably you because we have the King Queen of Cups here. And I know you're Earth and this is water, doesn't matter. But yet they're pushing it away. Probably out of fear. All right. They could have been single here for like eight or nine months. Nine of swords. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I just said fear, stress, worry, anxiety. So spirit coming through with that. Over this whole situation. I want to see what this ten of swords, what kind of ending was that? Wow, the sun, the ten of wands, and the knight of cups. See, they thought it was their ultimate happiness, their joy, you know, maybe even their soulmate or their twin flame, but there was something about the connection, something about it was just too overbearing, overwhelming, too much of a burden, just too much. But yet they kept moving forward. You know, maybe there was love, but everything else about it just wasn't... It just wasn't right 
but yet they kept moving forward here with the Knight of Cups energy, that Scorpio. Saying maybe, you know, maybe we could push through these Ten of Wands, like blindly, you can't even see, pushing forward. Like, okay, we're just going to keep going, 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 you know, and it came to an end anyway, Ten of Swords there. So maybe this is getting, getting them to really trust their gut feelings and their intuition, because I don't feel like um, they did that. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Strength, yeah. This is about knowing your inner strength. Having that inner strength to really trust those strong gut feelings that you have. The strong intuition. Leo energy. Could be you've had past lives with this person also. Very strong connection. A lot of holding back right now. Magician. Gemini Virgo. It's about making things happen. New beginnings here. So a new beginning can be had here. Two of Swords, but they're blocking it. Wow. Indecisive, blocking their heart, protecting themselves out of fear, stress, worry, anxiety. The Nine of Swords is right there. And we have the Eight of Swords. So they're keeping themselves stuck in a mental prison right now. The Eight and the Two gives you the Ten, and that's the Ten we saw up there, the Ten of Swords, that ending. Feeling kind of disenchanted, melancholy about love right now, like not sure what they want. But they know there needs to be a decision here. Judgment card, Scorpio. Again, past lives together. There's no doubting there's a lot of fire, passion, and attraction here with the Ace of Wands. And someone's waiting, probably you, in a sense, waiting for them to choose love, or are they not going to choose love? They know it's their turn to give in the situation, but their past is holding them back. Oh my goodness. Let's see what we have here for your extended. So we're going to see in the extended here um, how they're going to work through these energies. Are they going to come forward? Are they going to choose this love? What they truly would want with you and the connection moving forward? Um, when or how they may reach out? What's the future energies look like? Advice guidance for you. We'll also pull you a bunch of these untold truths of the heart. What you really need to know that they're not telling you. And these are for your extended also. Hmm, well, we have here new love. And we have focus on love. Oh my goodness. We have consider your foundation. Choose love. New love. Focus on love. Okay. Expect powerful change. And confidence is your key to success. All right. Taurus. So if you're interested in the extended. Again, links are below. So if you go, I shall see you there. If not, uh, sending you the best. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And I shall see you next time.